guys, I am really excited about today's video because today we are going to be testing out a new to me brand and the brand that I want to test out is called Midas Cosmetics. I ended up getting their High Times palette. Now I don't smoke myself so I mean the whole theme of this palette is not really my thing but I thought the color story in this was so cool and grungy and nice and interesting that I still wanted to pick up this palette and I think we're going to play with it today because I want to play with this. So if you want to know more information about this palette, I will leave the link to the website down below so you can go check it out yourself. I don't really go into depth on ingredients and all that stuff in my first impression, so... Great. So let's just start off by swatching this while he is working on fixing the fire alarm. So I'm just going to swatch from left to right, top to bottom, and then I will come back and we can talk about the swatches afterwards. So looking at these swatches, I was honestly really surprised at how they swatched uh, because I wasn't expecting that from looking in the palette that they were going to be that vibrant, especially some of the shimmers in here. The only one that I was having a hard time swatching was the brown down here as well as the gray, but I feel like they are pretty buildable, so we're just gonna have to wait and see how they apply on the eyes. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to apply my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and then we can start putting some of these on my eyes so we can really see how they perform. So I actually looking at these swatches now, I kind of want to use all of these four right here because I feel like they would go really nicely together. So I do want to work with the greens and the grays. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting the, let me just show you, I'm going to start by putting Kermit and I'm sorry, I don't know what any of these names mean. I'm sure they're all wheat based in one way or another. Maybe they were like strands of wheat or something. I really have no idea, but I'm going to take Kermit and I'm going to put that in the first half of my crease. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E36 brush to do so with. And I'm just going to pack this on. I did not set my primer. And that's quite pigmented. So I've actually heard quite good things about this brand, which is what intrigued me to try it out. And I'm always really excited to try out new brands because there are so many brands that are popping up that I want to give them a chance. But I mean, obviously, it's hard to know which one to really go with because you can't buy them all because that would be so expensive. But... This color story just really had me and I really wanted to try them and so it, I guess that just ended up being good timing since I had my eyes on them already and they came up with a palette like this. So, so far this shadow is beautiful. And while I'm working on the shadow, I'm also going to take this on a smaller brush. This is my Morphe M149 and I'm going to put that in the inner or the first half of my lower lash line as well because I want this to be a cohesive look and I want to do the same thing on the bottom as on the top. Okay, so I'm wiping off my brush and I'm next going to go into joint, which I know what a joint is, so joint is the gray one. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that in the outer part of my eye as well as my outer corner. So I'm just starting with the crease here and I'm going to meet that up with the green that I first put down. And I'm also just going to wing this out slightly because that's the kind of shape that I like on my eyes. And the shadow is not as pigmented as the green one that I first used, but it does seem like it builds up. It just takes a little bit of time to get it to be as intense as I want it to be. It also isn't as easy to work with and blend out, but I feel like as long as you're patient, the shadow seems fine. And like I said, also going to fill that in here on the outer part. As well as of course bring this down to my lower lash line. taking a bit of that bigger fluffy brush now and I'm going to just make sure that it's looking blended here. So 
So just as my first impression on this gray, I will say that it's a little bit hard to blend out if you do put it on top of a sticky primer like I did. It might be better to put it on top of a set primer, but it might not be as easy to build up if you do. So just something to keep in mind. I will say though that I really like this shade so far and I'm really happy with how this palette is performing. So next up I'm going to take, which one did I want to use? I said I wanted to use dark gray, right? So I'm going to go in with Jelly Bean. I find it funny it's called Jelly and not Jelly, but I'm sure there's a reason for that and I'm just not smart enough to know why that is. And I am going to spray this just to not get a lot of fallout. And I'm just going to put that right here. This is such a fun silver. I really like the kind of gunmetal silvers. I think they are so unique and so fun. And I really like that they put a gray in this palette because I feel like a lot of brands are scared to put grays in palettes for whatever reason, but I really like working with gray shadows. And I'm also just kind of gently blending this into my crease everywhere. I don't want this to be a very structured look and I also don't like to do cut creases in my first impressions because I like to see how opaque the shimmers are and if they can lay nicely on top of different colored mattes and not be see-through. And so far this is looking pretty good. Actually, I really like this shade. I will say I had a little bit of fallout with it despite spraying it, but not a big deal at all. So for my last shade, or at least for the last lid shade, I'm going to use Gelato, which is this beautiful kind of turquoisey blue-green. So we're going to use that on the same brush and just put that where I don't have any shadow yet. Oh, that is really pretty. I like this shade. Yeah, I'm just gently mixing it into the gray and making sure that they blend together. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit more of that matte green and I'm just going to run that right above here because I feel like I pulled the shimmer up a bit too high so I just want to bring this down a bit more. So, so far I am honestly very impressed. I thought that the shimmers performed beautifully. I think they look really nice on my eyes. They're very foil, they're very intense. And that's my kind of shimmer, as you guys know, unless you're new here, then... That's my kind of shimmer and I really enjoy that, so... For my inner corner, I want to pull in something else and I'm going to use my uh, BH Cosmetics Backlight Highlighting Palette. And I'm gonna go in with Strobe, which is this kind of white shade down here, but it's got a bit of a... I don't even know how to explain this. I feel like it's got a lot of kind of different shifts in it, but I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner just for a bit of a different effect here. So I think that looks really pretty. That almost looks blue in my inner corner. That's beautiful. So next, what I wanna do, I need to put something in my waterline, but I'm thinking today for once, I'm just going to do black everywhere. So I'm going to do a small black wing, put on some black in my waterline, do some mascara, all that jazz, and then I'll be right back and we can finish this look. And I also did buy some of their glitters. Um, these are like the flaky things. I don't know if I want to use them because- I'm scared of glitter. But I might actually put some of these on because these look kinda nice. So let me just finish up the rest of my eye makeup and then I'll be right back and I can kinda think about if I'm ready to commit to doing that today. I'm not really sure if I am, but I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are all done and I do think I want to go in with some of this glitter. I am hella scared though and this is quite the glitter. Let me try to show you. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. But basically these are just giant flakes and they kind of look like fish flakes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some like right in my inner part of my eye. I don't know if that made any sense, but I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use some glitter glue by Too Faced. And then I'm just going to pick these up using a tweezer and kind of place like three or four on the inner part here. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's just try it and see what happens. So I'm first just going to use a fluffy brush and just kind of tap some of that glue in here. I do not work a lot with loose glitter, so I really don't know how this is going to go, but we're just gonna try and see what happens. I probably could use lash glue for this, but I don't think that I need something super strong for this, but I mean, we'll see what happens. Oh geez, I just spilled glitter everywhere. That is great. I don't even know why I call it glitter because it's really not glitter. And these things are so small and hard to pick up. I wish someone would teach me like how to do this. I guess if I use my finger, it's probably a bit easier, but then I can't place them where I want them and now it just looks like a mess.
Um, so I don't have the patience for this and I don't know how to properly place this and have them stick to my face and my eye where I want them. So I'm gonna give up and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not very good at knowing how to place these kind of things and they are making such a mess. So we're just gonna leave it at this. I am going to put on some lipstick though. So let me figure out what I wanna wear and then I'll be right back. So for lipstick, I think I want to use one of my Menagerie Cosmetics lipsticks. This is in the shade Dorian. And it's just a kind of cool tone nude, so I'm going to put this on. Alright, so this is going to be the completed look. I wish I could pull up the palette and actually hold it and show you, but like... My whole desk is full of glitter and like fish flakes, so... I don't really want to do that until I've cleaned up, so yeah, that's going to sum up this first impression of this palette. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do more looks with this anytime soon, because I do have some other things that I'm working on. Let me know if you want to see me do more with this palette. Let me know if you want like full review on it. It is not limited edition, which is why I bought it because I wanted to make sure that you guys could get your hands on it if you actually wanted it. So that's going to sum up this video. Um, my first impression on the palette is that I really like it, but I've used like what, four shades. So it's hard to really know how amazing it is until I've tried out all of them, but so far, thumbs up and I think this is a fun palette. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.